good evening and welcome along to the SSC Arena in Belfast for this Challenge Cup clash between the Stenline Belfast Giants and the Edinburgh Capitals. Your starting goaltender tonight, Andrew Dixon, the local boy, gets the start. His first of the season, while at the opposite end for the Capitals, Pavel Shigalo will be guarding his cage. The Edinburgh Capitals are missing Rehard Grigors and Taylor Stefashin, while coming into the lineup to make his debut is Julius Nyquist, and returning back into the lineup for his first game this season, Pavel Borobiev. Stanley Belfast Giants, Stephen Murphy, Jim Van der Meer, and Dustin Johnner all miss out through injury, while Cole Jarrett misses because of suspension. The last time these team teams met was a 6 5 victory in Murrayfield two weeks ago and that was the first game of this two-game Challenge Cup series. Capitals honest in the corner, long pass up the wall, Amerson has to take a big hit there from Kevin Rain. He separated him from the puck and that's good penalty killing. Kevin Rain again, we talked about him on the podcast over the last couple of weeks, that's where he likes to stand his man up as close to the blue line as he can. If you want to chip the puck in, that's okay, but you're not going in behind me. Some of the food being put out here in the corporate boxes beside us. Doesn't do us any good when we're absolutely starving, but Edinburgh Capitals through to Verdon. He's off the half wall. Big shot coming in, goes wide in the target. I think it came off a, a skate in front there. Cazola back to Tiverdon. He steps in off the wall. Shot coming in, blocked in front. Another shot opportunity. The whistle's on. The referee's pointed, and the lights have been shown. And the Edinburgh Capitals. Oh, it looks as if the referee's saying it's going to go to camera to see if it went over the line. So it has not been given yet. The referee saying they were going to use the goal line technology. The interesting thing about this, Simon, is that the puck definitely ended up in the net after the referee had initially called the goal. So when he whistles it down, it's going to be interesting. It's, it's, about, the, it's, it's about the intention of whistling it down. Oh, no, he, he's whistled, he, after it initially goes in, he's whistled it down, but then the puck is definitely finished. So there's no doubt about it. I can see from here in the replay. Face off to the left of Chicago. This one's one there by the Capitals. Man out front, shot coming in. Oh, what a finish! Brandon Connolly picked his spot. Top corner, 1 1, 12 23 to go in the first. Brandon Connolly with his fourth goal of the season. He had a, a fantastic week of goal and two assists in Nottingham on Wednesday night. Follows that up. He's been, had a strong start to the game here. Coming up with a goal. Top of the replay there again. There we go. Lovely pass out front. What a shot from Brandon Connolly. Coach stamp. Top corner. And a pass coming out there from Blair Riley. Gets the score tied up with 12 23 to go in this first minute. Forcing Darcy Murphy back into his own end. Kevin Rain. Picked up by Fernand. Fernand trying to build a bit of speed up. Coming through the middle. Shot coming in. Good glove save. It's a rebound effort. And a great play. Fantastic effort by Jonathan Furland. Took the shot from 60 feet. Followed his own shot in. Took the rebound. Put it through into the net for a chance. 2 1 lead. Chicago might have been stretching for that, but still, I think when we see the replay here, Simon, mean, won't they have held that initial shot? But Furland, what an effort on the rebound. He comes in with it. That's a rip. Chicago should have that in the glove, but unfortunately for him, doesn't quite hold on to it. But Furland with the second effort. Sliding Alex Ovechkin like from a number of seasons ago. Stick flat on the ice and puts it into the empty net. Blair Riley takes a hit for his troubles. That's a good defensive play for me for Dennis tracking off. Cazola for the Capitals. Sends it in behind Dixon Knight. Martinelli takes a nudge for his troubles again. A little look over his shoulder to see who it was. And I'm sure numbers will be kept along there. Cazola now for the Capitals. Little drop pass for Anderson. Anderson with a shot in front. Good save initially. And the second goal scored by the Edinburgh Capitals. I think that may have been Tiverton. Confirmation again on the replay, but Andre Dixon will be disappointed with that one. Dicko's trying to cover the right hand post, gone down low, they've popped it up over the top of him. Here comes the replay here, Simon. Well kept in there by Cazola. Leads it into the corner. Makes a move and yeah, just got in between the arm and the post there. Just wide the net. Here comes the Edinburgh Capitals once again. Cazola looking for a help. A shot coming in just over the top of the net again. Dylan Anderson, he's already got two goals here this evening. Picks it up along the half wall. He's got help in the corner through Cazola. Plenty of space for them. Cazola, lovely pass out front, and the Edinburgh Capitals kick the lead again. 3 2. 16 05 to go in this second period. An absolutely marvellous ship from Cazola with the, the little pass from the half wall there, straight across the crease. Tavir coming in, slotting. Second goal of the night for him. No, he didn't get the credit of the first one. We thought he got the. Uh, Second goal, which we'll have to go back with. It says on our details we got through the still on Anderson. 
combination of the full squad part of the Zola and Anderson. 355 of the second period. 3-2 lead for the Edinburgh captain. Their last chance have another game tomorrow night against the Manchester Storm. They're away in Nottingham tonight. Losing 2-1 so far. Shot coming out, great pass, great goal. Dylan Murphy with his fifth goal of the season, 13 16 to go. In this second period, we've got a three feet. Lovely feet from behind the red line from Blair Riley. Murphy slamming it home with the second half of the semester. Good movement on the board player, so Vesic doesn't want to give it up in the corner. Pops it into Blair Riley on the board. Feathers a little pass out from Murphy. He's in the slot, the slam it home pass to Gallo. Second effort, great play by the two Russians. Frobiev gets his first of the season on his first game of the season. And the Capitals take a 4-3 lead. A bit of each-way hockey going here. The Edinburgh Capitals break against the Belfast Giants. Take their opportunity to score just the other end. Chicago Stokes, Brandon Conley stops us going in the 4-3 lead. Just shows you how quickly this game can swing right. 7.55 to in the second period. Edinburgh Capitals take a 4-3 lead. So the pop is a great bit of skill here by Mr. Lawrence. Chance again in the Edinburgh Capitals. They've got their fifth goal. But the referee the lights are on. Contradiction not happy with the ball. Set here before we do call it a goal. We may have ball. That's the right decision. Seconds. Black on the blue line. John Kurtz leads it towards the net. Tipped in front. Second effort! John Kurtz with the equalizing goal. 4 4. 2 30 wins the goal in the second. John Kurtz coming up with the second goal of the season. Belfast Giants 2 for 2 in the far play. Here's Colin Shields. Shields feeds it in. In front with the save, the pad save by Chicago, not going to just find a cut speed. He's trying to do for Nashville, but there's Vidovic again trying to keep a hold of it. He keeps it in the zone, cross ice pass, turnover. There's a chance for the Edinburgh Capitals, but great defensive play that time from Spiro Galakos and the Belfast chance now have a chance to go the other way. This time through the Edinburgh, sorry, the captain. Cross the blue paint there from Brendan Conley, but no giant at the back door. And here comes Benashkov for the Caps once again. Sticks the brakes on, takes a hit. It's the best, a lovely pass across, shot! 5-4, Edinburgh Capitals, great play. Turn over the puck in the the Belfast Giants zone. From a 13-49 to go. In this third period, the Caps take the lead again. Giants break down the right-hand side through Blair Riley, and he feathers a lovely little pass directly through the crease, but no one home. Edinburgh Capitals break down the right-hand side, and we're maybe a bit more concentrated on taking the body there rather than looking after the puck. Pops across the right-hand side, one-timer absolutely slam past Andrew Dixon. Here comes Brandon Conley. Andre kicks it head and straight to the fence. We've got the extra man coming in. Shot in front. Tipped in front again. Picked up by Kevin Rain to Connolly. A lot of bodies in front of the net. Brandon Conley back to Kevin Rain. Rain with a shot blocked in front. Robbie F throws it ahead. And the Edinburgh Capitals get that sixth goal. An empty net goal. This time by Banashkov. And that could be. The nail that puts the coffin lid on. 36.8 seconds to go. Not sure if there's a fire drill here, Simon, but that's certainly Penta. Penta. Penta the crowd home. He got off to a very good start. Uh, took the lead through uh, Anderson, and then the Belfast Giants tagged their way back into the game again. But 2-2 two -two at the end of the first period. Were you happy with the result so far? Yeah, obviously. The first two periods, each, each one, uh, Belfast out shot us uh, twice each, each period. I was, uh, wasn't happy with the... Uh, uh, with the performance, but the out outcome was fine. So it's, uh, we just, uh, I told the guys, you just come down. We, we, we can, uh, because of this kind of merge between the shots, we can add it up, and uh, that's what uh, we'll get a better result. That's what happened. 
Coach, not the right result tonight, despite a promising start, some good pressure from the Giants. Where do you think things kind of fell down a little bit tonight? Um, well, we, we afforded them too many opportunities, uh, too many chances, and, and didn't protect uh, Andrew Dixon uh, quite enough tonight. I thought, despite all that and despite the loss, I thought there was a lot of positives tonight. I thought the guys really showed up and battled hard from start to finish and uh, certainly controlled the first period, uh, at least for, uh, so I thought at least 90% of that first period was, was all us. And uh, I think second period they got better. Um, again, still though, I thought we still controlled the majority of the play. A few decisions hurt us uh, here and there. but. Uh, no, we have to get past this tomorrow we have, and, and look at tomorrow now and take the positives out of tonight and, and, and come ready to play and ready to battle tomorrow.